Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss further into uh, trigonometry and look at another identity and this time uh, go over this one cosine 3x equals to 4 cosine cubed x minus 3 cosine x. Now this is similar to my last video I did on uh, the trigonomic identity for sine 3x. So let's look at the proof for this. So this is the identity and the way to prove it. Very similar to my last video, the first step we'll do is well recall. So if we recall the trig, uh, the trig identities cosine x plus or minus y equals to, and I did the, and I proved this in my earlier videos, you can see that was in the video links below. Uh, this equals to basically cosine x, cosine y, and then this is going to be minus plus. So if you have a plus, we minus. If it's a minus, we plus. Now we have sine x, sine y. And uh, the reason we're doing these kind of identities is because this 3x, we're trying to break it up so that we get this x right here. So that's why we're using these summation or subtraction identities. And also we'll use the sine one too in this proof, so I'll just write uh, this identity. So for sine is sine x plus or minus y equals 2 sine x cos y and then plus or minus. So if it's plus, it's plus, minus, it's a minus right here. And this is going to be cosine x sine y. So in this case, we just switch the uh, cos and sines for the x and y's, but for the cosine is just cos, cos x cos y sine x sine y, etc. So what we'll do is write this cosine 3x equals to the same thing as writing cosine x plus 2x. Now this equals 2 while applying this identity. So this is the same thing as writing cosine x. So now y is our 2x. So now we have cosine 2x. Now it's a plus, so we minus. So we minus sine x sine 2x, like that. So now that we've broken up the 3x and now we're left with uh, cosine x and there's a 2x and there's a 2x angle on the sine, we just need to solve for these. So we could apply the same, um, the, the same sum identity to it to break that down as well as this sine 2x. So now this one here, uh, we can write cosine 2x equals 2 well cosine x plus x, yeah x plus x. And now this equals two, equals two. Now we go with the same thing. X, I mean, cos x, cos x, because they're both uh, the x is y now. And then we subtract. We write sine x, sine uh, x, like that, because both of these are both x. So this one we could simplify this and write this as cosine squared x minus sine squared x, like that. So now that we have this. We can throw this value inside here, and now we just need to uh, solve for sine 2x. So when we have sine 2x, we could apply this second identity, which equals to now sine x plus x equals 2. And this is just sine x cos x, and then we plus cos x sine x. So this is the same thing as writing 2 sine x cos x because those are the same things we're just adding them up twice so now we could throw this identity all the way into here bring this down and what we end up having is a cosine 3x equals 2 now cosine x and then there's this whole value here so cosine x and now we have cosine squared x minus sine squared x. That's our cosine 2x. Now we subtract sine x with, now sine 2x is our 2 sine x cos x. 2 sine x cos x, like that. So now that we have that, now we could simplify this just to expand this out. So multiply this cos x inside. So we have cos x cubed, the squared and um, uh, adds up. And now this one here we have subtracted by cosine x sine squared x minus, now we can multiply this inside, 2 sine squared x cosine squared, like that. So now that we have this uh, so far, what we notice is, well, the identity we're trying to prove only has cosine. 
so there's no sign, so we need to apply another identity to get rid of these sine squared uh, uh, x like this. So, and we know that, well, if we recall the Pythagorean identity, and that one is just basically sine squared x, and I'll pr put the proof in the description below, uh, plus cosine squared x equals to one. We can rearrange this, move this over, so what we get is sine squared x equals to one minus cosine squared x like that. So now we could throw this inside here. So we just plug this inside and what we end up getting now is finally move this over. We get cosine three x is equal to cosine cubed, cosine cubed x and then we subtract cosine x with the sine squared x, which is one minus cosine squared x, and then minus two, and then plug that in, we have a one minus cosine squared x, and then this is a cosine x over there. Now we can expand this, multiply that inside, we get a cosine cubed x minus a cosine x, and then this multiplies inside, negative becomes a positive, so we get a positive cosine cubed x. Now we have subtract this by two, multiply this whole thing out, so two times one times cos x, that's gonna be negative two cos x. And now this negative two times negative cosine squared, and then times by cosine x over there. This negative two and negative one that are, uh, just becomes positive, so we get plus two cosine cubed x like that. And now we just add up the like term. So for the cosine cubes, we have one, two, and then there's a multiple of two there, so that's four. So this equals to four cosine cubed x. And now we have to add up the other like terms, which is this co negative cosine x and negative two cosine x, which is negative three cosine x like that. So this is, put this over here, we get cosine cubed x, and there's our answer, which is, in fact, the exact same thing as what we were trying to solve. So cosine cubed, see, not cosine cubed, cosine 3x, yeah, not cubed. So cosine 3x equals to 4 cosine cubed x minus 3 cosine x, like that. And there's our identity, and if you see, double check, it's the exact same thing here. So 4 times uh, cosine cubed x minus 3 cosine x like that. And yeah, that's all for today. If you uh, follow along, it's pretty interesting uh, proof video, derivation video, and basically showing you the, the method where you go step by step up throwing in uh, different identities inside and finally getting this over here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very interesting, very uh, good way to understand how derivations work in mathematics. And it was all for today. If you'll learn, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another Math easy solution.